Jerry Colangelo's name is synonymous with success in Arizona, whether it was bringing Major League Baseball to the Valley, assembling a World Series winning team, or his many real estate ventures. He's got the Midas touch, that's for sure. So what's next for Jerry Colangelo? Troy Hayden spent some time with him today, and he joins us live. Troy. It was a very enjoyable visit, Carrie. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Jerry Colangelo has been one of the most influential men ever in Arizona. And now that he's no longer a professional sports owner, he's using some of that influence to try to stir up investment and jobs here in our state. You know, I'm putting in some bocce courts. How are you? Yeah, th that which has become a big thing around the country. And Jerry Colangelo takes me for a walk down the here, first fairway at his best. newly renovated Wigwam Jerry. Resort. <laughs> Investor, Bears, developer, just the latest them. titles for the man who brought the Valley its only major sports title 10 years ago now. That magical World Series win against the Yankees. He told me being invited back to the ballpark for that Diamondback team's reunion last month was something special. Many say he got the loudest cheer of anybody introduced that day. And I'm glad I was there for that moment. And on a personal note, the fact that I threw a strike. Randy threw it, you know, high and wide, and Schilling threw it over the catcher's head. I felt good about that. You got the best pitch. <laughs> Good stuff. But now, Colangelo is pitching Arizona. He heads a $100 million investment fund that bought the Wigwam Resort and the golf courses at the Arizona Biltmore. And he's not done. There's a lot of distressed real estate. I don't have to tell you that, right. you know, especially in our state. That's not what we're doing. It's distressed property that has an iconic feel to it, uh, that has uh, you buy appropriately, willing to invest appropriately, and over a long peri period of time, enhance that iconic uh, property that you purchase. So it's not bottom feeding. It's picking up Arizona classics and making them better. Just like his D-backs 10 years ago, Jerry Colangelo thinks Arizona is poised for a big comeback. For the next two years, maybe three years, uh, you'll see some real results regarding companies that have either moved or are in the process of moving and the creation of thousands, thousands of jobs. And that's the kind of push we need in our economy. I'm aware of how people are hurting. My opinion is you can either be an optimist or you could be a pessimist. If you're an optimist, you're going to cut short that time span. More people have to have a, a, a confidence level and push that confidence level. You know, we have so much to offer here. Let's go get them. Let's bring them here. Let's expose them to what we have to offer here. And that's how it'll work. But it'll take a team effort. And he says he wants everybody to have that confidence and get on the team. And he proves that you can make money and still do a good, a lot of good, in the place where you're making that money. He's also putting together a new quarter of a billion dollar investment fund to buy and restore more iconic Arizona properties. Reporting live, Troy Hayden, Fox 10 News.